Hey guys, it's Chris here from Gamertech, and today we're going to be updating the BIOS on the X870 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 motherboard. But before we get into the video, here's a little bit about us at Gamertech. We build the best, the highest end custom gaming PCs tailored to your needs. If you ever need a custom build or any upgrades, repairs, or advice, just check us out at Gamertech.ca or email us directly at info at Gamertech.ca and we're always happy to help. This video is going to be broken down into two separate sections. Part one is gonna be the manual method, which requires a USB. Part two is the easier method through Gigabyte Control Center. If you don't have a USB, you can go ahead and skip to part two of this video. All right, so let's get into the video now. First thing we wanna do is identify which motherboard we have. Press the Windows key and type in system information. On that page, look for something called baseboard product. That's gonna be your exact motherboard's make and model. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go on Google and search for that exact motherboard. On their website, click the support tab and then click the bio section. Go ahead, find the latest bios and download it. If you see something like a beta bios, try to avoid it unless you absolutely need one of the features from it. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and right click and extract the folder. Next, we're going to need to prepare our USB. Make sure it's formatted to FAT32. If you don't know how to do that, I have tons of videos showing you how to convert it to FAT32, so make sure you watch one of those videos if you need help. Once your USB is formatted and ready, go ahead and drag the extracted BIOS folder into your USB. After that's done, go ahead and restart your computer. As your computer's turning back on, go ahead and spam the delete key on your keyboard until you get into the BIOS. Once you're in BIOS, look for the Q flash button and select it. Then you're gonna wanna locate the BIOS file you just downloaded and moved into your USB. Go ahead, find the file and select it. Click start to begin the update. A little important note is that it's very, very crucial that you don't turn off your PC during this process. Try avoid doing this during a thunderstorm or anything that can cause a power outage. So go grab a coffee, leave your PC alone, it'll take about 10 minutes or until the BIOS update is finished. It could take some time so just be patient with it. When it's done you can go back into the BIOS and confirm that the new version is installed. After that you're all set and you can use your PC like normal. Now let's move on to part two which is going to be definitely the easier method but keep in mind it doesn't work for every motherboard. Go on Google and search for Gigabyte Control Center. If you already have it installed you can skip this part just download and install the program and open it up. Once installed and open, you can now go to the update section. If there's any drivers that are out of date, I would highly recommend updating them before doing your BIOS. This just helps with PC stability and overall performance. So make sure you do your drivers. But also there's a lot of bloatware on this like Norton and all that junk. So try to avoid any third party softwares, just do your drivers. After updating drivers, go to the BIOS section. If your motherboard supported, you will see the latest BIOS version available right there. If nothing appears, then maybe it's possible that your motherboard is just too old or it's just not supported by the app. Select the latest BIOS version and click install. It'll prompt you to restart your PC. So just click yes. This process will take about five to 10 minutes so just leave your PC alone and do not shut it off. Your PC will restart automatically and go into BIOS to complete the update. Once everything's finished you can go back into the BIOS and verify that the update was made successfully. After that you're good to go and ready to start gaming again. If this video helped you out or you learned something new please leave us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button it really helps our channel grow and you know motivates me to keep making more videos for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.